You've been sitting in sweet repose. And so let all that has breath give praise to the spirit, pure spirit. That's what you've been doing. You've been coming to an understanding of what Plotinus said and was quoted by Dr. Ernest Holmes, that he or she who could most perfectly practice inaction, to them all things are possible. That inaction is the stillness, the quietness, and the sacred solitude. It comes from the art and the science of meditation, where you can be aware of actions of the mind, the emotional body, the mental body, the physical body, sensations, movement in the world of conditions. But you are the onlooker that is perfectly still. And the individual that can perfectly practice inaction from that sense of stillness, then all things are possible. Why is that? Because in the absolute, in pure spirit, in the eternal, in the timeless, there are no antecedent conditions that would make you react to them. Something new gets to spring into action. So instead of you being the um, expression of that which has affected you in the world of condition, what happened when you were in the embryo, what happened to you in the first grade, the milieu of the society, you pop out of that, you enter into the new, the eternal, the timeless, untouched, and then you become a vehicle uh, for the eternal. All of this is happening because of the onlooking inaction of pure spirit. This is the savior of the world. That the world being the condensation of thought forms of conditions, producing conditions, producing conditions. Behold, you have overcome that world and you bring to the world the new. Those who are practicing the art and the science of meditation and affirmative prayer are the saviors of the world, meaning the, the embracing of the new that is transmuting the world that we see. Those that live in conditions cannot change the world. They only react to it. Spontaneous goodness emerges through artists, mystics, metaphysicians, real entrepreneurs. Now, this is a difference between entrepreneurs and business people. Business people work for money. Entrepreneurs work for new ideas and bring prosperity to all. That's a side issue, but it came out. So that which is new is birthed through individuals, si real scientists, spiritual scientists, mental scientists, real scientists that catch ideas from the idea sphere, which is the most important atmosphere, the idea sphere, and bring it into time. So you sitting at your home right now and magnifying the Lord, the great law of life with thousands of people sitting with us at this particular moment, are making a mighty difference on the planet and are shifting, transmuting the world. Obviously, it begins with your personal world, the world that you believe you live in, your personal context, your body temple, your mental body, your emotional body, the body of your affairs, the environment that you hang out in. It begins there. And slowly, momentum builds up, and you realize that you are crea uh, re you're creating your experience of reality called your world. You begin to hear from the depth of your being, Behold, I make all things new. That's the Spirit of God within you. And your world begins to change does not simply become the expression of that which has happened to you or appears to have happened to you through womb to tomb, so to speak. 
but there's a human interruptus where eternity breaks into time and you become new every single day. I want you to think about that. That you get to become new every day. Every single day that you practice, you become a candidate for newness. And then, your neighborhood, your city, your state, the nation, the world is affected by you. You are a holographic expression of infinite potential. A holograph lets us know that the part contains the whole. The whole is within you. The, you represent the whole. So you af affect the entire world. You are significant. So we, we honor our appointment. Those of you who are meeting here on a regular basis, Sunday mornings, and then continuing your practice throughout the course of the week, you are remembering a statement that I said many years ago that I, I repeat from time to time. That is, if you keep your appointment with the divine, you won't be disappointed. If you keep your appointment, you won't be disappointed. Because you'll be living in the flow of the eternal. All things working together for your good, for those who love God and live according to the, their divine purpose. And you see, even in the so-called hindrances, seeming denials and delays, there's an underlying blessing and lesson that is trying to emerge through you of which the objective conscious mind may think is a hindrance. But the soul knows that you are getting what you need, activation of potential, getting what you need, the activation of potential, expanding your capacity to hold more energy, that you can birth the demonstration and the objective manifestation of the good that your soul is seeking to express. Welcome to being a real metaphysician, a real mental scientist, a real spiritual scientist. Come out from among them. Come out from the conditions. Come into the secret place of the Most High. Live under the shadow of the Almighty. With your eyes and physical attributes, you shall see what is called scripturally the, 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 the reward of the wicked or the law of cause and effect or karma. You'll see all of that. But it shall not come nigh thee. It won't touch you. Because you're making the most high your habitation. You're living in God consciousness. This is not religiosity. This is spiritual awakening of which a few get to enter. All are called. Few choose to enter. Because as the theme of the month would indicate, it's unreasonable. Natural man says this is foolishness. Because that which is spiritual can only be discerned by that which is spiritual. The initiated. So you're inviting yourself to come into a high initiation so that you can see that which is real and eternal and come out of, your, and come out of living condition to condition, condition, but living from insight, insight, insight. And in your quiet and sweet way, you walk among the uninitiated, planting seeds of the eternal with your smile your patience, your love, your kindness, your generosity, your compassion, your forgiveness, sometimes saying nothing. But the power of pure spirit becoming the activity of your awareness is making a mighty difference every environment that you go into. And you, you, you may not even know, but you're just sitting in a meeting in an event, 
holding the high watch, may plant a vibrational seed, create an atmosphere that somebody catches a new idea. They catch possibility. They catch a sense of peace for no reason. You ask yourself, what difference is God making through me today? Everywhere that I go, what, what difference is the presence of God making in my life? Let's meditate. Let's practice. Let's do this. Let's be this. Be still and know. Continue in the space that you've been invited into by the Reverend Cynthia Ambariz and the Reverend Coco Stewart. You are already at center. Come back to center right now. Here we are, the very center of the universe, center of the presence, containing all that the presence is, this presence which is centered everywhere and has no circumference. The love, the peace, the joy, the wisdom and the harmony is right here. The abundance is right here, the intelligence is right here. Intend to wake up to this. Embrace your intention. Feel the power of your breath, which is keeping you present. Have a moment of realization. This is your very first time practicing meditation. And you have a deep inner listening uh, uh, to the sacred call. For you to be you.
you're practicing perfect inaction as an onlooker, as a witness. You may see the action of your sky of mind, thoughts, opinions, points of view, perceptions. You may feel sensations in the body. You may feel emotions rising and falling, thoughts rising and falling. But you, the witness, perfectly still. You may witness the conditions around you, hear sounds, but you're still. And who they that are perfectly practicing this inaction. With God consciousness, everything is possible because it's not born from circumstance. Consciousness did not arise from material matter our conditions. Consciousness is eternal. You're coming back to the timeless, consciously setting something new in motion from the eternal, so that the revelation of peace and harmony and wholeness and well-being and abundance and life, 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 life evermore reveals itself. Come home. To yourself. Be still at the know that the I am God is in the midst of you, is you. Another moment of stillness. Another moment, be still, be quiet, pay attention to your intention to wake up. Take a nice, pure inhalation. Release with the sound of ah. ah. And with a sweet smile on your face, be aware that you're in the presence of God Almighty. Not a man in the sky, not a superman in the sky, but a presence of pure spirit that is everywhere, omnipresent, right where you are. And with every breath you are taking, you are amplifying and magnifying this truth. It is from this awareness of our absolute oneness with the absolute that the word that is being spoken is the word of God, the word of life. Spoken with the authority of one knowing that all that there is is God and that everything that truly is is a manifestation of the only thing that really is. 
I speak it for each and every one of us, reflecting and revealing the one of us here, the divine order, divine harmony, infinite peace, pure joy, ecstasy, and bliss reign supreme through and as us right now. Every organ, action, function of our body temple is made every whit whole. The celestial body is governing all of our bodies. Mental body, emotional body, physical body, body of our affairs, etheric bodies, subtle bodies, astral bodies, under the aegis of the celestial body, which is perfect. We allow ourselves to rise in that dynamic perfection. Yes, abundance and opulence reign supreme. Not materialism, but all needs met. We accept this for ourselves right now. We're worthy. We're allowing the limitless, unadulterated presence be unblocked by our perception that it can reveal itself as abundance and love and peace and harmony in our life right now. We let it flow. We're not bogged down by conditions. But we're buoyant. The buoyancy of the Spirit. Let's us rise and shine. Glory be to God. And we give thanks for this. Oh, this is new. We're new again. We've come home to ourselves. In the sacred silence of the absolute presence. And it's happening now. Right now. And so it is. Amen. Amin. Ashe. Now so be it. Be that vibration. As we slowly open our eyes, we feel we're surrounded by a presence that is never an absence and we think and we speak and we act from this presence of love, abundance, joy, compassion and kindness. We live from this place. So we take this opportunity to bless our spiritual community this month celebrating its 37th anniversary incarnating as the Agape International Spiritual Center. And we give thanks that we have something to share today and through the course of this month and year to, mean, to, to sustain and to expand the great works that we get to do. We have the privilege of doing it this time in human history. This is our giving time, the celebration of tithing, gifting, offering, donating, whatever word feels good to you. Close your eyes for just a second and give thanks for whatever it is that you have to give. You can look at that two ways, for whatever it is that you have to give and for whatever it is you have to give. Sometimes the soul is saying, hey, you're being stingy, you got to give. And sometimes you have, you have something to give, whatever it is. We bless it and we give thanks that we have something to give and it's magnified by the love in our giving. Amen. So you may begin to give now. You can give through using the QR code by taking the camera on your iPhone or your Android, whatever phone you have, it's smart. Now, be aware that your brain is smarter than any technology that man will invent because everything that technology is inventing, I, I'm going off the track here, but all of that is just an extension, it's a prosthetic of what's within us. Don't ever forget that. But you can use it. Shine your, QR, your, your camera on your QR code. It'll take you into the portal of Agape. There you'll choose your gift for the day. You can even set it so that you can give it on a regular basis. You can do that right now. The QR code is up and it will come back in a moment. If you have an itch to text, text the word GIVE to 424-321-6243. That's on your screen. It'll take you into the same portal. Write the word COVER. And that means you are 
celebrating your ability to pay for the technology. It's a couple of dollars depending on how much you're giving. If you want to go directly to our website, go to agapelive.com. There you'll find a place where you can make your donation. It'll have you check out as if you're buying something. You are buying peace of mind that you're saying to yourself, I have more than enough. I'm giving, I have more than enough. That becomes a part of your subjective tendency and you keep demonstrating more than enough because of your giving. That's the law of prosperity, the law of circulation. You can go right to the website and do that right now. You can also give by mailing in your donation. Make out your checks, money orders to Agape International. Send it to Agape at 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. Send yours in right away. I love the, little, the letters and the testimonies and the blessings that you give with your donations. If you're on our Facebook page, Agape's Facebook page, you can give on our Facebook page as well. If you're on YouTube right now, you might as well use the QR code. Text to donate. Mail it in. But don't just sit there. <laughs> Allow the spirit of the living God to move through you. You understand what I'm saying. I'll be right back. Reverend Julie Moret is coming forward highlighting some of the wonderful things happening here at Agape. Good morning. We've got a few highlighted announcements for you today. You can visit agapelive.com for more information and to find out about all of our weekly offerings. We are in full anniversary mode. Join us next Sunday as we celebrate 37 years of Agape Love. That's right. 9.30 a.m. service will be celebrating via live stream, and the 11.30 service will be in person and live stream. Make sure to be with us. That's next Sunday. Look to your left. That beautiful being sitting next to you has major superpowers. And if there's nobody next to you, just imagine somebody you love so much and know they've got major superpowers. Now look to your right. That beautiful being sitting next to you also has major superpowers. Now embrace yourself. Give yourself a great big hug. You have major superpowers, and now is the time to activate them. As a gift from Reverend Michael to commemorate Agape's 37th anniversary, we invite you to join us for Vision Your Superpower, from artificial intelligence to absolute intelligence, a six-week discovery for your, of your soul Soul's Gifts and Superpowers, hosted by Agape Ministers and Licensed Practitioners. This free series kicks off Wednesday, November 22nd, and focuses on six visioning themes, harmonizing abundance, community, well-being, self-love, harmonizing relationships, and discipline. All with the intention of bringing you into a deepened, heightened, and expanded awareness of your divine power. Do not miss this opportunity to catch the highest vision of what desires to unfold within your life and the lives of the collective. Register today at agapelive.com. This week's guest on Reverend Michael's Take Back Your Mind podcast is Hazel Ortega. Hazel is a serial entrepreneur, speaker, philanthropist, and the author of the extraordinary memoir, From Bounced Checks to Private Jets, The Mastery of Miracles. Plus, Reverend Michael will answer your life question of the week and guide you in meditation. Watch or listen to Take Back Your Mind with Michael B. Beckwith on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Subscribe or follow to receive alerts when new shows drop each Wednesday. If you're seeking spiritual insight into your finances, health, life purpose, or world events, email Reverend Michael at podcast at michaelbeckwith.com. Your question may be featured as the life question of the week on the Take Back Your Mind podcast with Michael B. Beckwith. Remember, share your first name and location. Today at 2 o'clock, One from the Heart is offering our online bereavement support group for those who have experienced the physical loss of a human loved one, meeting at the same time as our animal bereavement support group for the loss of an animal companion. Register on our website by clicking on the appropriate bereavement support banner. The Crisis Support Clinic offers Zoom mini-counseling sessions every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. To receive details for your first-come, first-serve, complimentary one-on-one -on -one session with a licensed practitioner, email crisissupport at agapelive.com. This is offered to the community at large, and anybody may attend. 
Join the One Love Ministry celebrating every loving LGBTQAI plus life Saturday, November 18th at 9 a.m. live on Zoom. Our guest speaker is Agape licensed practitioner Daniel Parizic, and his topic is Glow and Grow in Gratitude. Email lgbt at agapelive.com for the deets. Reverend Susie Lula tells us one of the most effective portals to enter the mystical consciousness is to sit in the presence of someone who inhabits mystical awareness. Reverend Coco is exactly that kind of person. You are invited to join Reverend Coco Stewart for Mystical Heart, Mystical Calling, Mystical You. This five-week class begins Tuesday, November 21st and offers a deep dive in the teachings and traditions of a variety of mystical practices to experience a closer walk with God. There are prerequisites, and this is a requirement for practitioner training. For more information and to sign up, go to agapebayarea.com forward slash classes dash pages. Agape is open to the public. Come on up to Agape every Sunday. The 11 a.m. is meditation. 11.30 is our celebration service. Be aware there is some construction happening on Wilshire Boulevard and around the building. As always, all services will continue to be live streamed. We love seeing you here. So come on up to Agape Sundays, 11 a.m. meditation, 11.30 service. And finally for today, Adaptazen High Density Nutritional Supplement is back in stock at Nutrize. Reverend Michael's new formula is ready for you. Remember, your health is wealth. So give your body temple the raw materials it needs for renewal, regeneration, recovery, and the stability of good health. Subscribe to Adaptazen at Nutrize.com and get the Rev's superfood greens and vitamin D3 K2. Your body will love you back. Pick what's yours and jump in. Many blessings to you. I like that. Many blessings. Because the spirit of the living God is always radiating and revealing itself. Our role is receptivity and availability to the multiple, infinite blessings that are always happening. We turn within in this moment and we give thanks for the total expression of generosity and love and gratitude that is infused within the donations, the offerings, the tithing, and the gifting. We give thanks that people are rising up with a greater readiness to be generous and prosperous. Limitation, scarcity is only in the mind. When we give, we open ourselves up to abundance and demonstrate it. We give thanks for this in our life, in our spiritual community, and in our world. And so it is. Amen. Rise up where you are. Feel the vibration of the beginning of this particular song, I Forgive Me. As we have the benediction and as Reverend Julie reminded you, we're open. 11 a.m. Pacific time. 11.30 Celebration fellowship service begins, and for those who have been coming, you can see that it's, it's filling up. So you might as well come and be in the vibration of the community if you're in the LA area. It's powerful, it's loving, it's great. Listen, I'm ready. You hear that? I'm ready for my change. That's the topic of the day, by the way. Let the change happen, please. That's the topic for the day. Let the change happen. Please. Listen. I forgive me. I forgive them. I forgive they. I forgive you. I forgive me. I forgive everyone. Everything that I've been holding on to, I let go. Oh, can we live in that vibration? I think you can. It's spiritual practice. I surrender. I'm ready, I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for my transformation. The butterfly, the caterpillar is saying, I don't know. The butterfly is saying, Phew, I'm glad I surrendered. I can fly. Woo wee. So we stand in the great awareness of the wonder of the absolute. And in wonder and awe, in celebration, in bliss, and in ecstasy beyond conditioned mind. We stand in awareness that all of God is rushing through us right now. We anchor it on earth because that's why we've arrived. 
We give thanks for this and allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. Go forth and multiply the consciousness of the all good. We'll see you at 8.30 Pacific time for the next meditation service. 9 o'clock Pacific time for the celebration worship fellowship service. Have a beautiful day.